Hi, welcome to What Keith Says. Here's the word for today. Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? I'm sure you've all probably seen that crazy movie, Ghostbusters. Um, but I wasn't thinking about that so much this morning until I just said that. But I've been thinking all, all morning uh, about calling. Calling. I don't know why. I just, when I woke up this morning, early it was uh, calling. I kept thinking of that. And I remember when I was little, Mom would say, uh, Keith, go in there and call your sisters. It's time for them to uh, get in here and get, get to breakfast. Got to get ready for school or got to get ready for church or, or we got to go to the store. Go call them um, or go call your dad and tell him to come home from the church office. It's time to have dinner. I'm sure you've all had some place, somebody you've had to call. You might want to call your friends. Hey, let's go hang out at the mall. Or let's go, uh, let's go fishing. That's a good one I like. Call somebody and let's go fishing. But I think the most important thing we need to remember is there are times in our life when we don't know who to call. We might be going through a struggle of some sort or just having a day where you just have just thoughts that just are really um, hanging on you. Well, I'll tell you who to call. Call the Holy Spirit. I remembered that song this morning. Come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Come, sweet spirit, I pray. Come in thy strength and thy power. Come in thy own special way. I'll tell you what. There's been many times when I've called, called out to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, I need you. Oh, I'll tell you what. He can be your best friend. He's my best friend. He can be the one that gives you the guidance and the strength and the power you need when you don't know what to do. I'm telling you today, who are you going to call? call the Holy Spirit. He is your best friend. Remember, Jesus told the disciples, I've got to go away. If I don't go away, uh, I, the Father can't send the Comforter. See, Jesus knew that he was the one that we would need. Jesus knew that he, while he was on earth, he could only be at one place at a time. But the Spirit of God is omnipresent. He can be many places. He's multi-layered. I love what Kat Kerr says about the multi-layers of, of how God's done things, how our how we are multi-layered and how God is multi-layered and the Holy Spirit's multi-layered. So they can be many places at one time. Well, we can't be that way, but the Holy Spirit can. And I thank Him because I can call on Him today. And I encourage you, call on the Holy Spirit to be your best friend. Make it an important part of your life that every day you spend time talking to the Spirit of God, encouraging yourself in him by listening to what he has to say and when you read the word ask him to help you and guide you and and enlighten you as you read the word because the holy spirit is the one we should call well that's all i got to say today have a great day be blessed and don't forget we're here for you bye now